My name is Innocent Ndereiman. I'm serving life sentence imprisonment. I have been here for four years. When I heard about this school, I decided to attend. Now I have given my life to Christ Jesus. I'm living for him. My sins have been forgiven. I know that I will be released from here. I have that faith that I will go out and continue to live for the glory of the Lord. My heart and my soul are free. It is so sweet to serve Jesus Christ. I am Ale Gito Iradukunda. I'm a former general in the army. I have been in prison for five years. My sentence is of 20 years. I was not born again before I came here, but after one year in prison, I decided to give my life to Christ Jesus. Harvest Preparation School of Ministry has come to strengthen my work with God and to help me grow spiritually. These are samples of the testimonies that we are receiving from our students in prisons. We also have Pascal Shiminiman, who was serving 20 years, but after 6 years, he has been forgiven of his crimes and his sentence reduced. He says, I thank God so much for this call. My life has been saved, now I'm born again. I'll go back home a changed man, ready to impact his community. I'll take good care of my family, and I'll serve Christ Jesus with my whole heart and all my strength. What God is doing in the main prison of Gitega is a miracle. It brings hope to the prisoners, restores good faith between prison wardens and the prisoners. On our visit, we participated in one of the classes that was going on at the time. Students were gathered in a hall, happily attentive, asking questions and taking notes. The lesson of the day was on reaching your destiny. It brought back hope to these prisoners that though locked up, they still had the chance of having their God-given dreams fulfilled, that they could still reach their destiny destinies and fulfill their visions. The Ministry of Justice has sent visitors on two occasions to witness firsthand how the lives of these prisoners are being positively impacted by Harvest Preparation School of Ministry. This ministry has granted us permission to operate in as many prisons as we can afford. We pray to get the means and the strength necessary to take these studies to all of the main prisons in our country and all the places where there are prisoners. Because of this school, we have an opportunity to preach the gospel to those who are in prisons, teach them skills, and strengthen them in their most holy faith. This is a wonderful door that God has opened for us to touch the lives of prisoners. We are ready to take advantage of it. We ask for your continued prayers and support. Let the gospel of Jesus Christ be preached to all the prisoners in Burundi.